In this video, we're going to create a, a histogram. A histogram uh, uses bars like a bar graph, um, and, but it uses a numerical scale. And so the typical bar graph in Excel uses qualitative data, but we're going to use the bar graph feature to create a histogram which uses numerical data. For my example, I'm going to use the age of the U.S. presidents at inauguration. You can see the data here consists of all of the ages from the youngest president, Teddy Roosevelt, up to the oldest president at inauguration, uh, Ronald Reagan. From this numerical data, you have to create a frequency distribution. I did that over here, at least the beginnings of it. Created several classes from age 42 to age 69. I also constructed the midpoint of each class. Uh, this is going to serve as our, our markings on the horizontal scale on the x-axis. And these were the presidents in each one of these age class ranges. First thing I'm going to do, since I want my histogram to use percentages, I'm going to calculate the relative frequencies in each case using a simple formula. Divide the frequency by the total. I'm going to use a row reference, put a dollar sign be between the C and the 10, and copy that same formula going down with Control D. So you can see the percentages in each age class. If your data were not formatted, formatted to percentages, if they were formatted to kind of the general, uh, it can look like that. Up here is where you would convert them to percentages. And you could reduce the number of decimal, decimal places of accuracy or not. The columns that we need to construct the histogram are the percentages here and the midpoints. I'm going to copy the percentages and go up and insert a bar graph. This is, they call it a column graph in Excel, but we're going to use a, the vertical bars, so it's called a column graph. Now there you can see the, the bell-shaped look of the age data. And from here, what we're going to do is to edit this graph. That's the information that we need. I'm going to, first of all, make it much larger so you can see it better. When I click and drag, I'm going to hit the uh, Shift key so that the graph stays in proportion. I'll type in the, the title. So that I can see the data, the midpoints. I'm going to move this graph just slightly so I can see them. There. And then I'm going to control click or right click to select the data. And the horizontal axis data I'm going to use are the midpoints. So I'll select those. There they are. And the Y values are the percentages. Those should be good. And I'm going to hit OK. Now you see the midpoints down here. So since they're evenly spaced, it's going to create the illusion of a horizontal scale. And they appear right in the middle of the bars. Now another feature of a histogram is that there are no gaps between the bars. So I'm going to click on the bars. And <clears throat> come over to this bar graph icon and we don't want any overlap so I'm going to put this down to z zero maybe I'll just click on this create zero and then the gap width I want no um, no gaps whatsoever so I'll just put zero there and 
<clears throat> there they have there you have it the the bars are all connected so it's looking more like a histogram so we're almost there I'm going to select them all so I'll click on the bars I want to format those slightly so I'll go over to the paint can one thing you can do is vary the colors uh, I like a border if you're going to use the same color it's particularly important to use a solid line and then you can select your color over here uh, so that the border I'm going to use black and come into the bars again, click on them. Now I'm going to control click again, so and add the data labels, or right click and add the data labels. There they are. I don't like their size or position, so I'm going to click on the data labels, and then control click again, or right click, and I'm going to format those data labels. I want only that value. I probably won't need leader lines, but I'm going to put it inside the end. And when I do that, it goes in there. I also would like those numbers to appear a little bit larger, so I'm going to come up in here to the font size while they are selected and maybe increase the size a little bit. How about 18? How does that look? Yeah. And I can bold them as well or format them in some other ways. So now lots of details. Uh, I don't like the extra zero uh, attached to the percentages over here, so I'm going to click on the, um, the axis, and then again I'll control click or right click and go down to format axis. And then down here at the bottom, down at number, decimal places I'm going to set to zero. Looks pretty good. Down here at the horizontal scale, I'm going to click on that to highlight the axis and then control click or right click to format the axis. I want to put little tick marks along the axis. <clears throat> So I'll put little tick marks on the major axis outside and on the minor axis outside. And that's good. You can barely see it, but there's little marks now every in the middle of the bar and uh, at the end of each bar. So that looks pretty good. So I want to add some a title uh, to describe the axis. So I'm going to go to Chart Design and then add a chart element. I want to put in the uh, axis title. So I'm going to put in Primary Horizontal and delete out the title and just type in Age in Years. Similarly, come down here over to Format, and let's look at the vertical. And there it is. Click on that and type in Percentage. So there it is, a histogram. It's got the numerical scale. Both axes are labeled. Title is there. The Age of U.S. Presidents at Inauguration, Creating a Histogram in Microsoft Excel.